Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will teach you how to create a liquid text animation in After Effects. Before we go to the tutorial, I want to request all of my viewers to subscribe to my channel as it keeps me motivated to bring such awesome contents more frequently. So let's get started. Here we are in After Effects. Let's create a new composition and I will name it as liquid text. Let's keep the resolution at 1080p and the frame rate at 25 frames per second. I will keep a time duration of 8 seconds. For the background color, I have chosen a dark grey color. Now as the composition has been created, select the text tool from the tools panel and hit anywhere on the composition to write. For the text, I am using the NTF grand font and a font size of 526 pixels. So let's write down our text. Now after selecting the text, click on the pan behind tool. Now clicking on the control or command key on your PC, click and drag the anchor point to the center of the text. Head for the align panel and align the text both vertically and horizontally in the composition for precisely placing the text at the center. Now making sure that you have not selected the text layer, click on the rectangle tool. Make sure that you have set the stroke to none and then select a decent color for the fill. I will select pink color for the shape. Now click and drag on the composition to draw a rectangle, ensuring that it covers the whole text. Now go to effects and presets and search for the wave warp effect. Click and drag it on the shape layer. Let's rename the shape layer to pink liquid. Then head for the effect controls panel and decrease the wave height and increase the wave width as per your requirement. I found the perfect combination of it at 30 and 290. Now go to around 3.5 seconds time and drag the shape layer over the text similarly as we did before. After positioning it perfectly, click and drag the path handles to make a S curve like this. It will basically give a natural feel to the animation. Select all the keyframes and then right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease them. Now open the graph editor, select the anchors and give a similar shape to the graph. Now close all the drop downs and duplicate the pink layer two times by clicking Ctrl or Command D. Let's rename the middle layer to yellow liquid and change its field to yellow. Now rename the top layer to blue liquid and change its fill color to blue. Now select the individual shape layer and change their position with respect to one another. But make sure that it doesn't cover the text initially. Play around with the position and see what's best for you. For giving a different wave pattern to the other two shape layers, let's change the direction value of the wave. Head to the effect controls and change the direction as per your requirement. Now quickly select all the three shape layers and pre-compose them. Let's name it liquid layers. Place it below the text layer in the timeline and change the track mat of it to alpha mat. Select all the layers and pre-compose them to a new composition. Now we will make the exiting animation. Go to around 6 seconds and draw another rectangle over the text. 
the shape can have any color you want because it's irrespective of its color and we are finally gonna mask it. Now go to the end of the timeline and drag the shape over the text. Change the liquid text track mat to alpha inverted mat. Now select the keyframes and easy ease them as well. Select all the layers and pre-compose them. I will name it as final liquid text. Now it's time to make the bubbles. Create a new adjustment layer in the timeline and name it as bubble. Now go to effects and presets and search for CC bubbles effect. Click and drag it on the adjustment layer. Initially you won't see anything. So click on this icon to make the bubbles visible. Now head for the effect controls panel and change the bubble speed, size and amount as per your need. Then change the shading type to none. It will make the bubbles perfectly 2D. Now duplicate the final liquid text layer and sandwich the bubble layer in between them. Then change the adjustment layer's track mat to alpha mat. Change the bubble's opacity to around 50%. So finally we have to create the background. For that create a new solid layer and place it below all the layers. So we are done with it. That's it for today guys and if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.